when you are when you are twenty two year old, but you feel like uh, sixty years old, you sixty year old with osteoporosis. <laughs> <laughs> After carrying your team for the entire session. <laughs> Hey, hi, my name is Gabriel. I'm a year for computer science student and I'll be graduating next semester. Hello, my name is Christian. I'm a year 3 computer science student. Hi, I'm Tuya. I'm a year 2 computer science student. Hi, I'm Philmont. I am a year 3 food science and technology student I'm doing a minor in computer science specializing in software engineering. We built Face Off. It's a multiplayer game. It's a pack of multiplayer games that uh, uses your face as the main mechanics. So, because all you need is your face, what you need is just a camera. You can play it with your phone, with your laptop, with your computer. As long as you have a webcam or a camera, you can, you can play Face Off. For example, in Face Off, we have a game we call Detective Face. So, in Detective Face, there will be one player leading off. What he does is he'll create a facial expression, and then the three other players will try to give a caption to this facial expression. It can be anything, you don't have to actually guess what he made. And what makes it fun is that you can play this with your friends and you can come up with your own inside jokes of what facial expressions that, that first leader made. Everyone votes for the best scenario, and the one with the most points wins. So we decided to view Face Off because we wanted to create something fun that everyone could do together. So especially during the COVID period, during lockdown, it was very hard to meet your friends to have fun. We remembered how disconnected we felt during lockdown and we wanted to build an application that helps us to connect online and helps us to share a laugh together. How can we differentiate ourselves from these other games out there? We thought of one way which was to change the mode of controlling whatever you, you did in the game. So unlike Jackbox Party Pack or like Overcooked where you have to learn a new set of controls, just thought for a moment, maybe the best controller that we have is our face. Everyone has a face, and how hard is it to change your face? Not really, and it's a lot of fun because uh, we know that humans are social creatures. We love looking at our friends and playing with our friends. So we decided to go with this idea of using the face as our, as our controller for this game. I was responsible for designing the whole design system for the game uh, in the project. And so I come up with a prototype of the user interface that I planned to the team, I proposed to the team and they liked it. So we conducted user interviews with friends from our colleges, uh, fellow majors. It's cleaner, it's leaner and it's also better to the eyes and it didn't distract people off the game. And it also comes up with uh, different features to the user interface that makes the whole game mechanic seem more natural. As part of the course, we presented Face Off in the Student Project Showcase and we actually won first place the Best Project Award. So we won $1,000, yay! No, just kidding, <laughs> I wish. But we won $150 and we had a pizza party among our teammates. <laughs> I think in, in SOC, the biggest thing that you can take away really is just to work with, with different people. Like, uh, you're not going to work alone when you're, when you're working anyway. Wa. So it's, like, it's a very good experience. Building Face Off, I think I learned a lot about product engineering. So we covered the whole process. We started off with the design and then we tried validating our assumptions by talking to people about our application and tried implementing it and then conducted user interviews to, to check to whether what we envisioned it to be was what users thought of it to be as well. Did iterations and repeatedly. So I think I learned a lot through this process. And it was really fun, but also frustrating at the same time. We went through disagreements in the group, and, but eventually I think we resolved it. And yeah, all in all, I think in the end we had a lot of fun doing Face Off. For CS3216, I expected it to be challenging coming into this module. And yeah, it was very challenging. I just expected to code, but I had to pitch. I had to design new things like user interfaces, Think about game mechanics and all that, it, it boggled my brain. Um, it made me think outside of the box and forced me to communicate what I was thinking to my uh, project uh, group mates. Yeah. Even though it was very tiring, uh, the product that I made, the experiences that I had uh, made with my friends uh, made me feel proud of what I've done. Don't find problem for a solution. Find solution to a problem. And that's, I think, is what really makes software engineering, the true software engineering, really magical to the core.